Hi there, today I will be describing a prokaryotic replication fork. Uh, first, I'll start off with the origin. Uh, the origin for the purpose of this photo will be at the very bottom. Uh, it is where all replication begins. Uh, all DNA polymerase moves in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. So on the right side you see our leading strand. Uh, this is where continuous synthesis occurs, and that's because the DNA polymerase is moving in the same direction as helicase. A uh, helicase is indicated by the letter H and is it unwinds the double-stranded DNA by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the bases. Uh, beside it you will see letter G which is primase. Uh, primase adds the primers which is where the DNA polymerase binds to. Uh, so on the left hand side you see our lagging strand. Uh, so this is discontinuous synthesis. Uh, this occurs because the DNA polymerase is moving in the opposite direction of the helicase, so it kind of replicates and then loops back around, which is why you get these little fragments, uh, which is letter Z. They're called Okazaki fragments. Uh, letter C are your single-stranded binding proteins. These bind to the lagging or to the single-stranded DNA, uh, which prevents it from rewinding and becoming double-stranded again, which allows your synthesis to continue. Uh, letter B is your DNA polymerase 1. Uh, this has exonuclease ability, so it removes your primers and allows the DNA polymerase 3 to continue. Uh, DNA polymerase 3 is responsible for the bulk of your synthesis. Up at the very top, you see letter I. This is gyrase. Gyrase binds ahead of the replication fork and unwinds any supercoiling in the DNA. Uh, this allows your replication fork to open and continue smoothly. Uh, letter A down at the bottom, uh, that's ligase. So ligase uh, links the two the little notches that are created by the discontinuous synthesis. Lastly, I would like to explain a phosphodiester bond. Uh, this is what connects the sugar bases in the backbone of the DNA. Uh, so the phosphate that is connected to the 5' prime carbon uh, bonds to the hydroxyl group on the 3' prime carbon of the sugar above it, and this continues going further up the chain, giving you your backbone. Uh, finally, this is a list of my references. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.